Hello, good evening. Founded and run by the flamboyant, many would say inspirational, Camilla batman Gellidge, Kids Company has been one of Britain's most successful charities. It helps over 30,000 disadvantaged and vulnerable young children. But it has recently faced allegations of mismanagement and lack of accountability. And tonight, Newsnight has learned that the government is so concerned about the way the charity has been run that it's told Kids Company it will only continue to fund it if batman Gellidge no longer runs the organisation. Well, it's quite a dramatic turn for Kids Company, which has been propelled by Batman Gellidge's charismatic personality. Chris Cook will have more on this in a moment, but first, here he is with some background. She rubs shoulders with the most important people in the country and wins routine praise from government ministers. Camilla Batman Gailey founded Kids Company in 1996 in South London. Its stated mission to support families, children, and young people. And its work has been widely praised. No one disputes that the charity has transformed the lives of vulnerable youngsters and it's one of Britain's most high-profile NGOs. It receives handsome government support. Last year alone, the taxpayer gave them four of their £20 million of income. The charity is chaired by Alan Yentop, the BBC documentary maker and executive, and its private donors include Richard Branson, JK Rowling and Coldplay. But there have been long-standing concerns about whether the charity is well run. The charity has exaggerated the number of clients who've been using its services and uh, has had to, in fact, uh, change its website to reflect the fact that it's been exaggerating the number of people who've been using its services. Um, I've spoken to former clients who've told me that uh, they uh, would regularly receive uh, cash in envelopes. These are vulnerable people who have just been given, you know, in some cases, large sums of money. Um, and allowed to go and spend it on whatever they want, seemingly to encourage them to keep attending the charity. Um, also, donors who've given, in some cases, very generous donations, when they've asked questions about how their money has been spent, um, have really just been fobbed off and given all sorts of misleading information. The charity insists that the money given to those young people only went to them because they were in real hardship and that they are transparent with their donors. The government continues to believe that Kids Company does valuable and important work, but insists it's time for a change of leadership. Well, Chris Cook is uh, with me in the studio now. And Chris, what's been going on here? So the important background to realise here is that there's been an enormous amount of tension inside government about the funding that the government gives to Kids Company. In the last year, for which we've got accounts, they gave about four of the £20 million that Kids Company got in. So it's a really big, sizable sock of the, uh, of the charity's donations. What's happening is that the Cabinet Office, perhaps in, emboldened a little by the election and feeling they can pick a fight with, uh, with Camilla, as she's universally known, uh, has decided they're going to withhold £3 million of money that Kids Company is expecting to get until she moves aside. And what they're talking about is uh, not leaving altogether, but perhaps moving into a sort of more honorific uh, role and certainly out of leadership. They want a new CEO who can really run the charity. And what is the specific government concern then? So you heard those concerns from Miles Goslett about uh, the relationship with donors, about uh, you know, perhaps the methods they use to keep kids coming in and their, their record keeping. It's actually less about those things. It's more about very simple questions of of, if you like, public sector propriety. So do they, can they account for where every pound is going? Do they have someone with a strong enough financial management skill set to run the organisation? But it is certainly true that all of that background noise is really unhelpful for, for kids' company. We should point out, that, by the way, that the, the government is still funding it, right? They do not, they're not pulling funding. They're not saying they don't like it. No one questions the fact that kids' company does good stuff, right? The, the issue is... Could it do better if it had a new leader? And the idea of getting rid of Camilla, Camilla from her charity, is sort of astounding for the charity world to even consider. What is Kids Company saying? So, uh, Camilla has told us that uh, at this stage I'm not at liberty to comment because I have to safeguard the provision for the children and the staff. But we've actually we've been speaking more broadly to Kids Company people, and um, one of the uh, sort of issues they brought up is they think part of this is about an argument between Kids Company and the government about the government's responsibility to fund certain sorts of kids, kids with mental health problems and from particular forms of, dis with particular forms of disadvantage. That's, those are kids whom the government at the moment doesn't like to fund. And 
they have a, they feel a little bit put upon about all of this stuff because they think it's really about a political argument that they're they're being socked over. Chris, thank you very much. Thanks.